two videos ago, I put out a review of a very convenient, very well made, but admittedly very expensive WDT tool. That's why today I thought I would do a complete 180 and go through some of the cheapest ways that you can try WDT at home. When looking to integrate WDT into your setup, one of the most important factors is getting a needle that is thin enough. Remember, you want to cut through any clumps and fluff up the grinds, not stir them around or create any new air pockets. For this reason, it might surprise you to learn that things like paper clips or even most sewing needles are simply too thick to work ideally for WDT. Luckily, there is something that is equally inexpensive that does work perfectly. This is a nozzle cleaning tool for FDM style 3D printers. I'll leave a link to where you can buy a pack of these down in the description below. But they really are seemingly purpose built for WDT. They have a good length, they have a handle to hold on to or lock it into some kind of device, and most importantly, they sit on the ideal size that someone has determined for WDT, which is right around 0.4 millimeters in diameter. And this brings us to our first method of trying WDT at home, which is just using a single one of these. It allows you to be nice and precise. It doesn't really take much longer than a typical three or four needle tool. And if I'm completely honest, other than the Duomo, this is actually my preferred method for doing WDT at home. If we're talking on a bang for buck perspective, a 10 pack of these costs around $10. So I could take the clickbait approach and say this is a $1 WDT solution. However, if you want a slightly quicker and less easy to lose solution, I have a few other suggestions. Another nice element about these cleaning tools is that they have a pointed tip, making it easy to poke through a variety of things to turn into a handle. One of the most common that you might have seen would be people using corks. However, I have to recommend pre-drilling this in order to avoid giving yourself an accidental acupuncture treatment. It is tough to pierce all the way through a cork. Two other options that won't require pre-drilling would be simple things such as a rubber eraser. Or if you want to go the Spudnik approach, you can use a styrofoam ball from your local craft supply or dollar store. Another really good option would be to 3D print a handle. There are tons of good ones out there, but this one is definitely my favorite. You simply insert as many needles as you want and then thread on the top piece to lock it in. If you don't have a 3D printer, not to worry, I'm going to be giving away a few of these over on my Instagram account. All you have to do is follow me, like that post, and also comment where you watched this video from to be entered. If you do have access to a 3D printer, I'm going to leave a link to this STL file down in the description below. In the end, any of these options will allow you to very inexpensively try WDT for yourself at home, and then you can make the decision to buy an aftermarket product if you like. If you enjoy this video, please leave us a like, and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.